Assalamu alaikum, good morning. Uh, today we'll continue our uh, uh, course for history taking. And uh, today's presentation is about chest pain. My name is Ahmed Al Hadidi, I am emergency medicine consultant. Chest pain is a very important topic and very important complaint in all type of exams. Uh, first, we'll start with causes of chest pain for cardiac causes or cardiovascular causes like myocardial infarction, angina, aortic dissection, pericarditis, aortic stenosis, mitral valve prolapse, cardiomyopathy, and severe hypertension might cause chest pain, coronary spasm like in cocaine toxicity. Uh, other than cardiovascular causes, there is respiratory causes, which is important also, like pneumothorax, pulmonary embolism, pneumonia, and uh, bilirubin. Uh, psychogenic causes is an exclusion uh, causes like panic attack or anxiety or even depression. Other causes uh, like GIT causes like peptic ulcer disease or esophageal spasm, esophagitis or esophageal tear or rupture. Musculoskeletal causes or localized causes like fracture ribs, costochondritis or even herpes zoster. For differential diagnosis of chest pain, uh, angina pectoris, it will be like central chest pain radiating to left arm or left shoulder or radiating to the jaw. It lasts for less than 20 minutes and uh, complete resolution of pain by rest or nitrate spray. Myocardial infarction is central crushing chest pain radiating to left arm or left shoulder or jaw, and it lasts more than 20 minutes and is associated with the sweating, clumness, nausea, or shortness of breath. For aortic dissection, usually described as central chest pain radiating to the back and described as tearing or ripping in nature. For pericarditis, it's usually gradual onset pain worsened by lying flat and improved by leaning forward and might be associated with fever and fatigue. Other differential diagnosis, like pulmonary embolism, it's sudden onset chest pain worsened by deep inspiration and associated with shortness of breath and sometimes hemopsis. Gastroesophageal reflux, uh, it usually gradual onset chest pain, typically described as burning in nature and worsened by lying flat and may be associated with sour or bitter taste in mouth. Musculoskeletal pain, it's localized muscle tension, stinging pain, or pain reproduced by palpation. Psychogenic pain, usually described as sharp, stabbing, inframemory pain, which lasts for one or two seconds only, and associated with palpitation, hyperventilation, numbness, uh, or depression, and relieved by tranquilizers, or even placebo. Uh, to start the station for history taking for chest pain, as we usually do, it's a set dialogue and closure for the set. We'll start with the same introduction and greeting. Hi, I am Dr. Hadidi, SHO of Internal Medicine Clinic. Then confirm patients details. So are you Mr. Muhammad? Are you 58 years old? Uh, then build good rapport, please have a seat, may I sit beside you, explain not taking, if you don't mind, I would like to take some notes for the purpose of interview, which will be strictly confidential, and at the end of the introduction, agree the agenda, I have received a letter from your GB stating that you have chest pain, is it right? After that, we'll go to the dialogue, which is the main part of the station. Uh, present, uh, start with the present history and presenting complaint. Can you tell me more about your chest pain? Do you have chest pain right now? And if he has chest pain, uh, shall I give you a painkiller? Have you had chest pain before? How was it different? When was the last time you had chest pain? How long did the chest pain last for? What were you doing uh, when the pain started? Does it occur at rest? Does the chest pain prevent you from doing things you would normally do? 
Then we'll go for analyzing the complaint itself by Socrates. Start with the site. Where is the maximal site for uh, of your chest pain? Can you point out where exactly is the pain? Is the pain diffuse, poorly localized, or retrosternal, sometimes in myocardial ischemia? And is the pain localized over the left nipple, which is pointing to psychogenic chest pain? After that, the onset. When did the pain first start? How long has this chest pain been going on? And how quickly did it come on uh, to reach a peak? Did the pain come on suddenly or gradually? Did the pain come on at rest or while you were exerting yourself? Then uh, after sight and onset, we'll go for the character. Can you describe your chest pain and character is very important in chest pain or even any pain. What does the pain feel like? Does it feel like sharp or stabbing pain, like in pericarditis, pleurisy, pneumothorax, pulmonary embolism, or psychogenic pain? Does it feel like pressure or squeezing or burning or dull aching pain, uh, uh, pointing to myocardial ischemia? Does it feel like tightness or heaviness? like an esophageal spasm? Does it feel like indigestion or need to pilch, like myocardial ischemia or peptic ulcer? Does it feel like tearing or ripping pain, like in acute, uh, uh, sorry, in aortic dissection? Uh, then we'll go for the R, radiation. Does the pain go to any other place, like in left shoulder, arm, or jaw, or neck, like myocardial ischemia? Like, uh, does it go to the back or interscapular region, like in pericarditis or aortic dissection or esophageal di disease? Does it go to epicastrium, like in esophageal disease, peptic ulcer disease, or even my inferior myocardial infarction? Then for the A associations, are there any other symptoms that seem associated with your chest pain? Do you have any of the following symptoms, like nausea and vomiting? Uh, like a myocardial infarction or GIT disease, sweating, like a myocardial infarction, pulmonary embolism, aortic dissection, shortened breath, like myocardial infarction, pulmonary embolism, pneumothorax, or pneumonia, abdominal pain, neck pain, or leg pain, which refers to aortic dissection, fever, very important, like pneumonia, pleurisy, or pericarditis, rashes, or uh, uh, shingles, like in herpes zoster disease. When you have chest pain, did you ever feel like you are about to faint or did you actually faint like an aortic stenosis, myocardial infar infarction or massive pulmonary embolism? Has there been any recent viral illness or chest infection like uh, uh, what happens with pneumonia or pleurisy? Then after association, we'll go to time course. How long uh, does it last? Does it last for seconds, minutes, or hours? Is the pain constant or does it come and go? How has the pain changed over time? Uh, like sometimes it started on exertion only and now in rest also. Uh, exacerbating and relieving factors will be next slide. Then severity, how bad is your pain? How severe is your chest pain? On a scale of zero to 10, how severe is the pain? If zero is no pain and 10 is the worst pain you have ever experienced. Exacerbating and relieving factors. Does anything make the pain worse? What makes it worse? Is it worse in exertion? Does breathing affect your pain? Does moving, coughing, eating, or lying flat make your pain worse or bring it on? What does relieve your pain? Uh, does rest or sublingual uh, nitrate relieve your pain like in angina or esophageal spasm even? Leaning forward or setting up like in pericarditis and pancreatitis, antacids or food like in esophagitis or peptic ulcer. Other specific questions for chest pain usually refers to the cause of the pain itself. Like is there is a history of trauma, injury or heavy lifting? Is it tender to touch? Did it hit yourself? Did you hit yourself, sorry? 
like in muscular injury or musculoskeletal. Is there any history of recent viral illness, pericarditis or pylorisy? Have you had any recent dental work, like in my infective into pericarditis? Any recent history of long flight, weight gain, hospital admissions, prolonged stay in bed, which might cause pulmonary embolism? Then after present history, we'll go for the past history, past medical and surgical history. Do you have any medical conditions? Have you had similar chest pain before? Did you see a doctor for it? What did he tell you? Did you do any scans or blood tests? Did you know what was the result of this uh, test? Do you have any heart disease? Uh, uh, have you ever had heart attack, myocardial infarction? Were you born with any heart problems like congenital heart problems or valvular heart disease? Have you ever been diagnosed with high blood pressure, high blood glucose, or high cholesterol, which are risk factors for myocardial ischemia? Uh, also, in past history, we'll ask about have you been admitted to the to hospital before and for any reason? Uh, have you been given any blood thinner medication during your hospital admission? Have you been done uh, or have you ever done any heart operation or procedures like, like uh, coronary artery bypass graft, coronary artery stent, heart valve uh, replacements? When was the operation and why was it performed? Do you have any prosthetic heart valve or pacemaker in place? Have you had a recent camera scan for your stomach, which might uh, uh, diagnose peptic ulcer disease or might cause esophageal injury or rupture? Have you ever been diagnosed with cancer? After past history, we'll go for medications and allergy. Are you currently taking any medications? What medications are you taking? Any over-the-counter, any herbal remedies? Are you on tablets for hypertension or high cholesterol? Do you take it regularly? Have you noticed any side effect from this medication, like sometimes cause headache or impotence, like in uh, beta blockers? Are you currently taking any beta blockers, diuretics, antiplatelet, or nitrate, which refers to or indicate cardiac disease, non steroidal anti inflammatory steroids or uh, bifosphonates, which might cause peptic ulcer disease or esophagitis? Uh, are you currently taking oral contraceptive pills or hormone replacement therapy, which is a risk factor for pulmonary embolism? Or for any reason, are you taking cocaine or illicit drugs, which might cause, uh, is a common cause for? Uh, uh, coronary spasm in young people. Do you have any sort of allergies? And have you ever been diagnosed with allergy? Very important. Family history is very important and you don't want to miss or uh, forget to ask about family history. Does any of your parents have any heart problems? Has any of your parents previously been diagnosed with blood clot? At what age did your father suffer his first heart attack. Are your parents alive and well? I'm really sorry if, if he told you that his father died or something like this. I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, do you mind me asking how old was your dad when he died? Do you remember what medical condition caused his this? Then social history, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, ask about smoking. Do you smoke and how much? And for how long do you smoke? And if he stopped smoking, when did you stop? <clears throat> alcohol. Uh, do you drink alcohol? And how often do you have a drink? Less drugs. Do you use recreational drugs? What exactly do you use? And how do you use? Uh, uh, is it injecting needles? Uh, might cause infective endocarditis or cocaine might cause coronary spasm. Do, don't forget to ask about driving. Uh, do you drive? What type of vehicle do you drive? Is driving part of your job? And do you have uh, 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 HGV or PSV uh, license? HGV is uh, a high good vehicle. Uh, PSV is public service vehicle license. Uh, sorry, HGV is heavy good vehicle.
impact of symptoms on life. Does this uh, chest pain interfere with your life or work? And in what way? How far can you usually walk and what stops you? Then uh, ideas, concerns, and expectations at the end of the uh, dialogue. What do you think might be causing this problem? Are you worried about this being anything in particular? And what do you think might be the best plan of action? Then the closure, start with uh, summarizing the main points. May I take a moment to summarize what you have told me so I can check that I have understood everything that is important to you? Any outstanding, uh, outstanding issues? Is there anything else we haven't discussed that you feel is important, then create a list of problems. So I think you have a blood clot in your artery going to your lung. What we call pulmonary embolism, it happens sometimes after major operations due to uh, uh, decreased mobility. I will examine you first. We will need to do some uh, tests in the form of blood test and may do some imaging, what we call CT pulmonary angio. And of course, you need to be admitted to the hospital and we will start you on blood thinner medications. Then Council on Health Promotion, there is some advice I need to tell you about. Smoking is not good for your health and I'm going to arrange another meeting to help you to quit if you wish. Then is there anything unclear you need me, you need me to clarify? At the end, thanks the patient. Thank you, Mr. Mohammed. This is the end of history taking for chest pain station. Thank you so much. And these are other presentation from free medical courses we will discuss uh, next uh, time.